yourself first it says which of the following is less likely to be affected by extreme value less likely four options are given to you mean range interquartile range and correlation try to do this question tell me what do you think answer should be okay Okay. You are saying, everyone is saying D. Anything else? Okay. So, let's see. So, first of all, let's try to understand mean first. Okay. Mean, to definitely it will be affected by extreme value because mean takes care of all observations. It considers all observations. Our observation is right? So, for example, if I go ahead and if I tell you that I have my observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I make this 6 as an extreme observation. Isko hum 6 ki jaga pe kuch aur kar de. Suppose I go ahead and I make this as 60. So, kya hoga? What will happen? My mean will be affected. Mean will change. Hana? So, money mean will be affected by extreme observation. Mean cannot be the answer. Now, let us try to go ahead and let us try to think about range. What is range? Range kya hota hai? Range is highest value minus lowest value. Right? So, extreme observations to yehi hai, highest and lowest so, if I change the highest value, to automatically range to change ho jayega. Range will change. So, range will be affected by extreme values because the moment you change highest or lowest value, jaisi aap change karoge, range will change. Now, think about interquartile range. Ab interquartile range, what is that? Interquartile range is basically dependent on the quartiles, right? And when we talk about quartile, so, quartile mein kya hota hai? It is, so if I go ahead and if I have a data, if I have a data set, quartile means that I am dividing the entire data in four parts. I have divided data in four parts, mein divide kiya hai, right? Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So, for example, if I go ahead and I say that this is Q1 here, this is Q2 here, Q2 is nothing but median. This is Q3 here, right? So, here you will have 25% of the data. 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 The pura data has been split in 25, 25, 25, 25, right? And when we do interquartile range, this is basically Q3 minus Q1. So, it is affected by this value and this value. It is very less affected by what happens towards the end. Like median is affect less affected by what happens towards the end. Okay. Just in this data, mein, if I tell you 1, 2, 3, 4, 60, median is 3. This is Q2. Second quartile. So, if we make this 60, se, if I, even if I make this as 100, median will remain 3. Even if I make this 1000, median will remain 3. Similarly, if I say that this is Q1 and this is Q3, so this will not be affected. Mane, one thing we know for sure, ki interquartile range, it will be less affected by the extreme values. Jo towards the end values, hai, usse interquartile range will be less affected. Now, if I go and I write down the formula of correlation, if we write correlation ka formula, likte hai, so what is the formula of correlation? Pearson correlation uh, coefficient ka formula kya hota hai? Summation xi minus x bar, yi minus y bar upon under root. Summation xi minus x bar whole square, summation yi minus y bar whole square. Mane, it would be affected by when mean will be affected. Jabibi mean change, hoga, it will be affecting R. 
and mean will be affected by extreme values. Hey na? So if I make this observation 60 ki jaga 100, x bar will change. If x bar will change, that x bar only is coming here. So it will affect this correlation. It will affect the value of r. So the most uh, common, I mean the most sensible answer that we can give in this case, it should be C, not D. C is the correct answer. C ठीक लग रहा है. C is that value which will be least affected by the extreme values. Is this clear? अब देखो, I have written exactly this thing. तो mean is highly sensitive to extreme values. Outlier से mean पे सबसे ज्यादा फरक पड़ता है. तो mean ये this is a limitation of mean that it is affected by extreme values. Range is the difference between maximum and minimum value. So, if maximum or minimum he change, hoga. if that changes, then range will be changing. So, it is also very sensitive to the extreme value. It is also affected by outlier. This is also a limitation of range. Okay. Interquartile range, which is the difference between first and third quartile. Just because it's may range word error does not mean that it is affected by extreme value. वो वो पॉइंट है जो 75% एंड 70 25% एंड 75% ऑफ द डेटा का पॉइंट है इट इज लेस अफेक्टेड बाय एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू बिकॉज़ इट फोकसेस ऑन मिडिल 50% ऑफ द डेटा हाउएवर इट कैन स्टिल बी स्लाइटली अफेक्टेड इफ देयर आर एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज इफ यू हैव सम एक्सट्रीम चेंजेस बीइंग मेड हियर इफ आई मेक सम चेंजेस हियर ओनली तो ऑफ कोर्स वो अफेक्ट होगा बट एज कंपेयर टू अदर डेटा पॉइंट्स इट विल बी लेस अफेक्टेड ठीक है same is correlation. Correlation may because of the presence of mean, it will be affected. We can always debate that man deviations hai yaha pe, mean nahi hai, but still R will be affected, right? So the right answer to this seems to be C. These are some of the formulas, beta. Inko you will revise. Revise formula. So formula of interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Okay. And it is very less affected by outlier. Ye is ka ek advantage hai. And Q3 minus Q1 ka interpretation kya hai? So because I have I have 25% of the data here. Yaha pe Q1 a gaya. This is Q2. This is Q3. And I have 25% of the data here. So it means that when I do Q3 minus Q1, I am focusing on this part of the data set. Q3 minus Q1. So out of Q3, Q1 is gone. So I am focusing on this part of the data set. It means we are focusing on middle 50% of the data set. Jo beach ka 50% data set hai, we are focusing on that. So this is one important thing that it focuses on middle 50% of the data set. Okay. And the more IQR, jitna zyada IQR hoga, it means more data is present in the center. Okay. Middle part of the data is more. Zyada data yaha pe frequency zyada hai. More data is spread out here. Less data points are here. The more the IQR will be. Okay. This is your homework. Please try to find your IQR for this data set that is given to you. Now, when we talk about visualizing IQR, so here this is an important question which can be asked in MCQ paper that how can we visualize IQR? How can we visualize IQR? Ko bana sakte so, one common way of, of understanding what IQR is is through box plot. I'm not sure if you have ever seen a box plot or not, but uh, if you go to econometrics book also or you go to statistics book, you will see the presence of box plot very commonly for outliers. So what happens is that suppose I tell you this is my data set. Okay. So you will see that a box plot looks something like this. It visualizes the center 50% of the data. Okay. It represents the middle 50% of the data. Mane it shows Q3 minus Q1 and baki data points are outside the box plot. Right. So box plot actually is 75th percentile. Agar hum 100 percent mein dekhe, minus 25th percentile. 
so one way to go ahead and to show iqr to show interquartile range it can be through the box plot it is a good way to show this theek hai i hope this is absolutely clear to everyone to so, iska correct answer ho jayega uh, iqr interquartile range look at the second